Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Facebook Messenger camera is not working properly on your Windows 11 computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the search magnify icon down in our taskbar. And you want to search for settings. Best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the three horizontal lines up at the top to open up the navigational panel. And then you want to scroll down and select privacy and security. Scroll down underneath app permissions and select camera. So if you see the Facebook app in here, you want to go ahead and make sure it's turned on for camera access. So again, you want to make sure that master control is turned on here. And you don't have to keep all these apps in the on position, but for Facebook, you want to make sure you turn that on. So pretty straightforward process there. If you're still having a problem after you've done that, something else we can try as well would be to go into the registry editor. So open up the search icon, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Keep Export range at all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import from the backup, all you have to do is select File and then Import, and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. So double click on that one. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Double click on it. Same thing for WoW 6432 node. Double click on that one. And it should be a Microsoft folder. Double click on that. And now you want to look for something that says Windows Media Foundation. So you may have to scroll down a bit here. And double click on it. And now you want to look for something that says Platform. Just left click on that folder one time. If you need to take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. So now on the right side in a blank area, you want to right click, select New, and then select the word 32-bit value. You want to name this value Enable Frame Server Mode. So all one word, so just call it Enable frame server mode all one word first letter of each word capitalized here so again enable frame server mode hit enter on your keyboard to save that and now that you've done that you want to go ahead and double click on this value and you want to go ahead and make sure it's set to zero which should be by default if not delete whatever's in here and type zero then select ok now you're going to go ahead and close out of all of this And you're going to restart your computer. So now at this point you should be able to launch the Facebook app and hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So pretty straightforward process guys. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.